Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about gate logic. Gate logic. In the previous video, we have seen switch logic. These two are used to construct different logic functions like gatings or any type of logic. Now, this video completely explains about what are the basic gate logic functions available with NMOS and CMOS logic circuitry. So, if you see the gate logic in the first one, we have the inverter. Inverter may be NMOS inverter or it may be a CMOS inverter or it may be a bi CMOS inverter also. Okay. In the complementary metal oxide semiconductor technology, the first and the basic circuit was inverter because the circuit itself produces a complemented output. Okay, you are not intentionally generating, but the circuit behavior itself is generating a complemented version of the inputs. Okay, and along with this inverter, the same circuit can also be extended in the gate logic to create NAND gates, to create NAND gates and the same can also be extended with the creation of NOR gate. If you see here I am going to explain about the complemented versions of the basic gates, NAND gate and NOR gate, NAND gate and NOR gate. So these NAND and NOR as these NAND and NOR gates are universal gates and the most important gates that are generated basically by giving the inputs is a complemented version of the CMOS. That's why we are going to discuss here NAND gate and NOR gates. Of course, once NAND gate and NOR gate are designed, the AND gate and NOR gate are different logic functions can be easily determined using this NAND and NOR gates. Here NAND gates and NOR gates are also designed using NMOS transistor. PMOS, uh, CMOS logic and as well as by CMOS logic and here also NOR gates are designed with these three combinations. So NMOS logic, what do you mean by NMOS logic? NMOS logic if you observe NMOS logic consisting of all NMOS transistors, all NMOS transistors. That means this logic function, the logic circuitry which is an NMOS logic circuitry which does not include any other type of transistors, PMOS or any type. So, all NMOS transistors are needed. Here, the NMOS may be a depletion mode transistor or enhancement mode transistor depending upon the requirement. And in CMOS logic circuit, the name clearly tells that it is a complementary metal oxide semiconductor which consisting of, consists of PMOS transistor and as well as NMOS transistor. It is a combination of complementary metal oxide semiconductor is a combination of both PMOS and as well as NMOS. Whereas PMOS transistors are connected in the pull up place and NMOS transistors are connected in the pull down place. Okay. And coming to the bi CMOS logic. What do you mean by bi CMOS? Bi CMOS is nothing but a combination of bipolar technology plus CMOS technology. Combination of bipolar technology and CMOS technology. It is equivalent to bipolar technology that may be either NPN or PNP transistors plus this CMOS technology is having again PMOS transistors and as well as NMOS transistors. So overall we can say it is a combination of a BJT NPN transistor or BJT PNP transistor plus PMOS transistor and NMOS transistors. Okay. So in this way using all these different methods you are going to create these three logic circuitry. One is inverter, another one is NAND gate and third one is NOR gate. Okay. Let us see one by one how the circuits are going to be realized. So the first one is inverter. So see the first figure circuit A shows the NMOS inverter where it consists of two NMOS transistors. One is in the depletion mode. This is the depletion mode transistor and it is the enhancement mode transistor. The depletion mode transistor we are taking with the channel. Depletion mode transistor we are taking with the channel 
and the input of this we know the depletion mode transistor we no need to switch on this transistor because initially it is having by default it is having a channel from source to drain so that the input is not required and it is folded back towards the drain terminal okay if you, if you say this is the drain terminal this is the drain terminal and this is the source terminal so the input is folded back towards the gate uh, drain terminal to make a high high impedance device okay nothing but it simply acts as on transistor okay we need a we on transistor nothing but we need uh, we need a on resistance from this vdd up to this output terminal okay so that uh, resistance is made up of only a on transistor which is nothing but a depletion mode transistor why we are taking the depletion mode transistor means it is giving high uh, good logic function okay when input is equal to zero the transistor the bottom transistor is said to be in off state then there is a current flow from vdd to the output in that situation the maximum logical level can be obtained when we are having a depletion mode transistor here that is the reason why we are taking a depletion mode transistor we are getting 100% 5 volts here okay now coming to this cmos complementary metal oxide semiconductor logic function cmos logic function is having a pmos transistor in the pull up place and nmos transistor in the pull down place with a common input for these two common input is given to both the transistors pmos and as well as nmos and output is taken at the center of these two the same see here what is the difference between the first figure and second figure this one and this one both are cmos logic functions but here in the first figure if you see there is a fourth terminal this is the first terminal second terminal third terminal and this one is the fourth terminal this fourth terminal is not shown in the in this figure fourth terminal generally it is always there with respect to the mos transistor this fourth terminal shows the substrate terminal both terminal shows the substrate terminal substrate terminal is always connected to the source substrate terminal is always connected to the source okay until and unless we require a biasing supply nothing but suppose if you want to change the threshold voltage vt then body bias effect is needed in that body bias effect definitely we should give some built in potential between source and substrate okay except that remaining all cases we will generally so, uh, sub, uh, short circuit the source and substrate this is the substrate terminal hope you understand substrate terminal is used to change the threshold voltage of the transistor bjt we cannot change the threshold voltage in mos technology we can change the threshold voltage variable threshold voltage is there in the mos technology another advantage of the mos now coming to this third one which is a bipolar and cmos technology so b by cmos technology see here if you observe that circuit consisting of both the transistors the first one is it is a pmos transistor and this is the nmos transistor and this one is an npn transistor it is also npn transistor okay so these two npn configurations are connected in a push pull configuration where one transistor is in on state another is in off state and vice versa so these two are said to be in we can say push pull configuration push pull configuration okay so suppose if you take a logic zero function this makes the pmos transistor on and mos off as this transistor is in off state this npn also in off state and as it is in on state there is a current flow directly to the input of this transistor so this transistor is in on state and again output will be having a current flow so output is equal to logic one so in this way the inverters are going to be constructed using this uh, different logic functions like nmos cmos and by cmos if you see the logic symbols logic symbol of course it appears same it is having normal uh, buffer followed by bubble nothing but inverter case now coming to this two input nmos cmos by cmos nand gates nand realization is nothing but if you say the output y is equal to a b bar a b bar a into b bar that means the product is there this product for the pmos transistor should be in parallel this is the realization with respect to cmos i told you already triple p 
PMOS transistors should be connected in parallel for product realization. Okay, but this case is applicable, triple P case is applicable only with respect to the CMOS logic. But if you see the NMOS logic, NMOS logic does not have any problem with respect to the pull up transistor because in NMOS, in NMOS, pull up is always pull up is always a depletion mode transistor a depletion mode device hope you understand okay in pull up in pull up we are always using a depletion mode transistor for the nmos realization whatever the realization is and or and not whatever the realization in pull up we are using a depletion mode transistor and in pull down we are having a and b as they are in series it simply realizes a into b and it complement is by default coming from the mos technology and coming to the cmos technology cmos transistor device cmos is nothing but consisting of pmos and as well as nmos pmos transistors in parallel and nmos transistors are in series if you see the first two circuits the NMOS realization from ground to output here from ground to output that is common but additionally we are having in place of depletion transistor we are having enhancement mode PMOS transistors here okay and coming to the by CMOS technology again the same CMOS circuitry is extended with the bipolar technology to get the NAND logic and the same can be created with the NOR logic functions NOR is nothing but Y is equal to A plus B bar a plus b bar so a plus b bar is a into b nothing but pmos transistors in product but as it is plus so pmos transistors should be in series opposite realization with the case of nand gate and coming to the nmos logic nmos is having a depletion mode transistor in the pull up but here the a and b are in parallel this is cmos and this one the same cmos logic is extended with the bipolar technology to get the by CMOS realization in this way we can create uh, the standard and uh, uh, what is that uh, universal gates using this NMOS CMOS and by CMOS technologies in the next video I will explain what are the different uh, other forms of CMOS logic functions like the pseudo NMOS logic dynamic logic domino logic and clocked CMOS logic thank you